A very warm welcome to you. We take a look at the newspapers on this program every weekday. It's the start of the weekend, but not before we take a look at all the headlines. Thanks for joining us again. My name is Felicity Ezewike. I won't be doing this alone. I have a public affairs analyst, Honorable Moses Naekbe. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll start things off with the Punch newspaper. The screamer here is on, expectedly, on the governorship election uh, tomorrow. Uh, signals disturbing. Jonathan warns Buhari cautions against intimidation. It is the big days tomorrow. Expectedly, we'll have these riders. Forgive Bello, RFI begs Kogi voters. PDP alleges OPC invasion of Kogi. APC disagrees. Handle ballot paper, ballot box snatchers legally, Buhari tells uh, the police. Now, there are pictures of National Youth Service Corps members, I guess, uh, during um, skill acquisition program. Um, I don't know why that is on the front page, but you might want to go get details um, when you grab a copy of the paper. But before we go to the bottom uh, part of the headlines, let's look at what's at the top mast that's on your screen now. Um, federal government orders telecom firms to end voicemail. Oshamole, APC state chairman, ask govs to sack DG. No going back on social media regulation, says federal government. Border closure, patrol diesel imports drop. FG, Bennett, Niger agree on joint uh, patrol. Uh, that's at the very top. Let's go to the bottom now, see what's there. Okay, we have reps kick as night post denies collecting stamp duty. Residents count losses as fire got Lagos Ogu buildings. Uh, more headlines here. Robber skill cops injure others during Lagos robbery. Court remands father for raping a daughter. Uh, let's see what's on the back page before we go uh, to a guest. Senate's proposed bills and the diminution of democracy. That uh, sounds like a, a strong one. So let's just start with a screamer. It's tomorrow and we have these comments. What's your take on these headlines? Uh, what really catches my attention on those um, headlines is um, Buari telling the police to handle um, ballot box snatchers legally. When did he become a Democrat? Showery has been in prison. They've caught orders been given that he should be released as the commander in chief. Can't he order the DSS to do what is right? What is he talking about legally? He has no moral justification to talk about legality because he doesn't, he doesn't uphold anything legal. So I think that is a hypocrisy. That's my own um, opinion. Then um, the invasion of um, uh, Kogi State by OPC, well, it's so, it's so, it's so unfortunate that um, we are still talking about things like this. When INEC should be talking of how to fine tune our electoral system. If we have- INEC says they're ready for the- No, no, you know, no, they, they were ready in 2019. They so, so they said. They were ready in 2019, and we, we saw the, the mess they, 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 they created, the embarrassment they, they brought upon this nation. So what we should focus on is how to, re, the, 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 the electoral bill, how can this bill be signed? So that we have a, a, a kind of holistic reviewed system that can, that can serve Nigeria. I don't, nothing, I'm, not, I'm not too interested in what's going to happen in Kogi and Bayasa, because that's not the issue. We need to focus on our electoral system. So let's just wish. Yeah, but these, these states are an integral part. They are integral part of the entity called Nigeria, and they, these are legitimate elections that are to hold. And mm. people's lives might be in danger if certain things are not put in place. So, um, in spite of the uh, concerns you have with Buhari, the former president is also speaking, saying there are disturbing signals. There's always been disturbing signals. We have to know. I used to see when I come here, I said, Do you want me to tell the truth or you want me to talk politically? I said, Tell you, you're here to speak to the people. No, that, that's just why I want, that's why, I'm, that's why I'm speaking the way I speak. So, see, all these things are things that come up during elections. Do you know why all these things come up? It's because we don't have a system that checks all these things. We need okay. to have the system that will nullify all these. Uh, issues so all right let's uh, look at all the headlines there are some here um we have the issue of border closure we have the Oshomole situation in Edo state and of course we have this um uh, court remanding a father for a raping daughter which which other ones would you want to talk on well i would just want to talk on the you no know, going back on social media regulations it's it's 
Well, I'm not surprised because we all, it's so unfortunate that some Nigerians didn't know or failed to, or just decided to, 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 to put up a blind eye concerning the person they were putting into office. We all know the antecedents of the president in 1980, 80, 84, 85, I think. We all know that this is his style. So for them to want to climb down on social media, it, it's, it's, it shows you their plan for the future of Nigeria. They want to make sure that they silence the social space and then perpetuate whatever agenda they have. So I, I'm not surprised. Well, whatever the people allow it. That's another question. Are we going to stay silent? Nigerians are sorry to say, we are docile. Look at what Showere was trying to do. Nobody came out. Showere is locked up. I expect Nigerian streets to be flooded. When they say release him and nobody re and they don't want to release him, I expect Nigerians seem to be flooded. Fela has said it. My people are too scared to die. I just got married. I just bought a house. I just bought a new car. Nigerians will continue to look and expect God to come and solve their problem. So nothing will happen. They will do what they want to do and nothing will happen. The Nation newspaper is yeah. for review this morning. Mm. Um, again, the Bielsa and Kogi election is captured here. Uh, a couple of riders for you. That is slightly different from the first one. Uh, police identified threats to Kogi Bielsa poll. And then you have the anti-vote buying ICP team for polling units. That's um, uh, some of it on your screen. Uh, that's the flip side of the paper right now. Okay, it's back on the front page. And then the big one there, Governor's Chairman Bako Shomole over quit call. Don't cause disaffection in APC, PGFDG, party not being properly run. Okay, let's see. Oyetola presents 119.5 billion naira 2020 budget plan. And that's uh, Ocean State. That's the man there uh, on the front page uh, with a smiling face presenting the budget to the House of Assembly. We also have OMS has nothing to hide, says Chair. ICBC freezes 100, freezes 12.9 billion naira, beg your pardon, in MDA's account. And then at the very top mast of the paper, where you have the um, head mast, why West Southwest deserves Development Commission bill before Senate? And then we have Buhari or others on the ballot box situation uh, in the elections. Nigeria others raise team on border closure agencies to meet. And we can now flip to the back page and see what's there. Uh, comment and debate today is looking, as it, reconciling national security and rule of law. Uh, which of these would you want to speak on this time around? Let me just allow you to take <laughs> what you... Uh, well, there are some... Um, yeah. Yeah, you, can, you can start with the border closure. Well, the border, the border closure, it's a topic that I, I have been kind of avoiding because um, you cannot be within a committee of nation. And you cannot sign the African trade um, agreement. And after some months, you are closing your borders. You, you, no country can live in isolation. You are supposed to make sure that you work within the confines of the law of the committee of nations that you are living within. You know, it staggers my logical argument to see why things like this can be happening. Number one, if our security agencies have been doing what they are supposed to do. There will be no need for closure of borders. You know what? Hold on to that thought. You're going to finish your thoughts. Okay. Let's go on a very short break. When we come back, our guest will continue to share his opinion on the headlines. Stay with us.